Hello and welcome, we're at the track with the Sport of Kings. Coming up, top Jamaican trainer Wayne Acosta continues his high volume of success at Cayman Spark. Top TNT sprinter Crime of Passion takes on a good field at Santa Rosa. And in Barbados, trainer Robert Pierce has high derby hopes for his Midsummer Classic winner, Donico did it. Plus there is Caribbean success in Canadian horse racing. Let's start in TNT. Where fans at Santa Rosa Park would see champion imported sprinter Crime of Passion in race 8 for horses rated 70 and over. He is the number 6 horse on the outside, a 3-5 to five favorite. All the top entries in the small field, number 4 Holy Man and 5 Wild Excitement, both at 2-1 to one in the betting. Here's the 5-year-old Crime of Passion taking aim at the leaders, heading for the home stretch. As they come out from the 600 meter marker, it's Holy Man and Wild Excitement, nip and tuck, two and a half lengths back to Crime of Passion. Indian Medicine has fallen away, Secret American is next, and forget about Buffalo Soldier. At the top of the home stretch they come with 350 meters to go, and Wild Excitement and Holy Man, they continue to be duking it out with 200 meters to go. Crime of Passion is now starting to find his best ride. He is taking dead aim at the top two, Holy Man leads narrowly. Here is Crime of Passion on the outside. And the brig was wild. Excitement goes backwards to third. Crime of Passion gets up to score. Scores by a neck in the end. Eddie Arno there with a the call as a 3-5 to five favorite on a smooth ride from Panama-born jockey Nobel Abrego. Crime of Passion in his first outing since his third place finished a big man in town in the ARC Cup at the end of May. Very strong at the finish here in the weekend's main event to win by a neck. Ahead of a fighting 2-1 to one bet holy man, his time a fast 1 minute 9.60 seconds for 6 furlongs, just one fifth of a second outside the track record by Bruce on the loose, prime of passion trained by champion John O'Brien for owners Raroma Stables. Two Jamaica's came out as part now where there was a weekend double race meet for the racing fans Saturday and Sunday. Saturday's main event was the Viceroy Trophy. A strong hand for champion trainer Wayne Acosta with four starters in this competitive seven horse field going nine furlongs including number one all correct the second favorite at seven to two Harry Prasad's upper tune number two is at four to one his stablemate Pete's wild one number four is at six to one so to the five horse the Costa's hovercraft number six perfect neighbor the Costa's 2013 Derby winner is the three to five favorite Brian Rickman picks up the commentary with just over four furlongs remaining. The battle up front continues. Pete's Wild One on the inside of Fortune 100. Upper two now is only some four lengths back and beginning to make some gains. So two all correct needing to find five lengths. Hovercraft and Perfect Neighbor run together and military move not yet in it as they come away leaving the three and head toward the five sixteenth Fortune 100. And right there now Upper Tune has come through with a surge and it's Upper Tune who grabs that lead at the top of the lane in the red nose band. All correct has made good progress. Watch perfect neighbor now in the blue silks. Hovercraft asked to bubble to the ball in behind them and taken out wide. Four across the course. Upper tune gives way to all correct. Perfect neighbor and here now is Hovercraft on the outside. All correct battling to hold the advantage over perfect neighbor and Hovercraft now gliding on air on the outside and Hovercraft now strikes the lead inside the final yardage and Hovercraft comes Comes away to win the Viceroy Trophy over Perfect Neighbor, all correct. Military move runs on to be fourth. Champion and leading trainer Wayne Acosta continues to advertise his supremacy as the number one in the business, sweeping the top three spots in the Viceroy feature. Hovercraft with a strong finish on the jockey Paul Francis gets the win here over his more fancied stablemate Perfect Neighbor. One minute 52.20 seconds, Hovercraft's time for nine furlongs in a two and a quarter length win for owner Elizabeth Acosta. Sunday's highlight was the Sports Journalist Trophy event going to the front running favorite Force Du Jour. About to arrive at the 516th marker, being chased up now by Eternal Joy left two and a half lengths back in second. Dagger Dagger Links takes a wide route, unbreakable stepping off the rail toward the center, but it is Force de Jour continuing to hold the advantage. Eternal Joy trying to eat into that lead. Unbreakable left some three or four lengths down with a Dagger Dagger Links. Lavetta Jones is in the center. Aquila racing out wide. Force de Jour now under the left hand stick holds the advantage. Eternal Joy continues to hold for second, but up toward the inside the final 16th it's a force de jour coming away to win impressively in the end he takes the sports journalist trophy former champion jockey Shane Ellis confidently pilots force de jour to victory by five and a half lengths as a four to five favorite clocking one minute 14.40 seconds for six furlongs owned by Percival Henry Barbadian Ila Salute and TNT Stefan Reinsing force de jour is trained by Anthony Nunes 
Cayman Spark getting ready for this Saturday's final leg of the Triple Crown Series, the ISP Financial Services Jamaica Cent Leisure. 11 runners declared in the post position draw Wednesday at the track served up the number one box for the 2000 Guinness winner and derby runner of Alibaba with Robert Halladine riding the newness pair of Ballon d'Or and Southern Cruise in four and five. Derby fourth placer original train with veteran jockey Winston Kripitz up is in post position six. Cronus third in the derby is in seven and race favorite the vastly improved Seeking My Dream is in the nine box poised to add the St. Leisure to his derby success. Now we're just a few weeks away from the Massey United Insurance Barbados Derby at the Garrison Savannah and nominations for the third and final subscriptions are now in. The top three finishers in last month's Midsummer Classic all entered for the derby. Donico did it, Poetic License and English Rose. The Midsummer favorite Poetic License seen here in the Midsummer second and having her four race winning streak snapped. Donica did it really impressive, pulling clear in the Midsummer win now with the derby a furlong longer at 10 furlongs, the trip looks tailor-made for another Donico Dinit tram. So what does trainer Robert Pierce think? I will hope he wins it, <laughs> but um, I think he'll perform well. He came out his race very well. He's um, he, he, eating all his feet, everything. I'm very, very pleased with him. So I, I think if he um, repeats this performance, he'll be hard to beat. Barbados racing continues this weekend at the Garza Savannah with a crop over festival handicap over nine furlongs as the feature. And before we go, the story of the Caribbean's holiday success up north on Canada Day. Here is Barbadian Rico Walcott landing the Phillies sales stakes at Northlands Park. They just have an eighth of a mile to come and catch Queen of the Forest, who's been uncontested this entire way, and looks like no one's going to catch her now. It'll be Queen of the Forest and a gate-to-wire score here in the three- and four-year-old Philly sales stakes. Rico Walcott, champion and leading jockey at Edmonton's Northlands Park, is unchallenged to stride Queen of the Forest, the two-to-five favorite, to land the Phillies sales stakes. In a five and a half length win, it's 1 minute 18.56 seconds the time for six and a half furlongs for leading trainer Greg Tracy. And have a look at how prolific Caribbean jocks have been at the Assiniboia Downs in Winnipeg, Canada. A current three-way tie at the top of the jockey's table there with Jamaican Chavian Chow and Ghana-born Rohan Singh part of a three-way tie at the top with Adolfo Morales. Defending champion Chris Husbands from Barbados is fourth and Jamaican Day Nelson in his first season is fifth, only six wins off the lead. The Jamaican Chow actually delivering a fine ride Wednesday to win the Canada Day Phillies and Mere Stakes with a 10 to 1 bet aware. This is fifth added money win of the season as he scores a surprise victory. Well, when she breaks, she wanted to go. I take my time, got her settled. And once I had her settled, I know I had ours. So I just waited, waited. And when I let her go, she wasn't stopping. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the unofficial winner of race number seven, the 39th running of the Cansar Canada Day Stakes. That's number one, Aware. We've been at the track covering top stories in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.